Hi everyone on the Nalzy Rocks channel, it's Nalzy here and we're joined by a fella called Tom Francis. His other name is Pentadact, he doesn't like being called that, he's told me. It's only Tom. Hi, hi Tom, how is it going? <laughs> it's just if someone says it in voice, like to your face, it's a bit weird. Yeah. But otherwise it's fine. Hello. We could shorten it to Penta. <laughs> no, Penta. That, that's worse. What do you think? Penta. Alright, Penta. Like, look, Mr. Tom. Francis, we're playing a game called Gunpoint that this fella here has made, and he's so generously, I begged him. I was begging him through emails, like, Tom, please, please, God, I need this. I need this. <laughs> um, so this game, Gunpoint, that he made, um, how would you describe this game? Before we start, because I know there's an opening little thing here that I don't want to miss, so how would you describe it before we hit resume? Give me your tagline. It's a side-scrolling um, stealth game where you're breaking into buildings and stealing sensitive data. Right. And the main way you do it is by rewiring how the buildings work. So you can switch to a mode where you can see how all the electronics are wired up and then you connect anything to anything. Okay. Well, my whistle has been wet, Tom. I'm <laughs> going to press resume. Um, beautiful graphics so far. I've been thrown out of a fucking window <laughs> with a goddamn beautiful picture of a horse here. Right, I need to answer my phone, Tom. Excuse oh, me. Oh, my artist will love you for saying that. It's, it's absolutely beautiful, Tom. Look at that picture. It's glorious. Got a lot of work into that horse. Uh, who's your artist? Ryan? Is it Ryan or is it... No, sorry, this is John Roberts. John Roberts. The other fella's... What's the other fella's name? Because I saw you, you have... So um... John Roberts did the um, the character and environment arts, John Roberts, and then the uh -huh. backgrounds are done by Fabian Van Dommelen. Right. And the music you hear is... Um, the mid-mission music is by Ryan Icke. Ah, that's the music firing. Because I know that there's a special mode that you can activate where you can go around and kind of talk to the sprites, kind of like in Portal, where you can go around and learn all about the game from the person who made the point of view sort of thing, right? Yeah, so we become like little NPCs in the levels and you can walk up and talk to us and you can even shoot us I if you see. like. <laughs> Which oh, really? Oh, fantastic. Commentary. I work at a gun company across the road. Someone just got thrown out of your apartment. That was me. Yeah, that was me. Shit, man. He was about to call me about something else, but now I'm more interested in this. This fucking guy... All right, we've got a guy here, Selena Delgado. His boss says, come some freelance spy. That is actually... It's a woman. <laughs> Look, Tom, I don't see gender. <laughs> um... I just thought you might appreciate that director's <laughs> insight. You know, that's, that's the kind of you know, behind-the-scenes oh, stuff. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, right. So I'm, I'm... Oh, shit. Right, I'm using WASD here. Oh, my God. Oh my god, what has happened to that babe? Can I get up there? Get up there quick, why did I waste time talking about controls? Elevator. You could have saved her, man. <laughs> oh my god. No, you couldn't. Oh, could I not? <laughs> okay, well I feel less bad about that then. It's good um, if you think you can, though. Wait, hold on. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, well. It's always good to land in someone's <laughs> corpse just after they've been shot. <laughs> Yeah, I thought she'd appreciate that. That was my way of saying, I'm sorry for your loss. Um, <laughs> congratulations on purchasing what? Your new Bullfrog brand hyper trousers. Oh my god, Bullfrog. That was a, that was a goddamn company that made uh, Theme Hospital. Holy shit. These, the, uh, these references, Tom. This is the kind of um, top game that I'm playing here. Maximum strength jump, me shut our glasses, ceilings and windows, and chill. What? Outdoor use only, right. Oh my god. So these are the trousers. So that was a flashback. Oh right! Oh right, that was the flashback. Oh Tom. Yep. Fucking hell, it's like memento I'm playing here. I don't know if you noticed, but it said thirty seconds ago, um, before that, and that's uh, I, I did see it that. It times how long you took to complete that first level, and then does that amount of oh. seconds ago. Holy snappers! Right. So this is um one of the coolest parts of the game, from what I understand, is that you can not like disclose anything. You kind of you control what you tell the other people, right? So, yeah, it's it's pretty basic like, early it's kind on. It's kind of like Mass Effect, you kind of chat. So with sort of this um, with this client, you um, it's really more about right. what kind of attitude you want to have towards her and kind of how clear sure. you want to be and how serious you want to take it. And then later on, okay. it gets a bit more serious when um, like someone's investigating the crime that you just saw and they suspect mm -hmm. you're guilty of it, and they keep sending I you see. to retrieve evidence. And it's up to you whether you want to actually give them the evidence or pretend you couldn't find it. Ah, right. This is, all right. Okay, tons of layers on this then. Right. Well, I'm going. My character, I think, I'm going to play very. I'm very paranoid. I'm going to say that I've I've got some sort of anxiety disorder, and I'm just going to open with I didn't kill her. I didn't kill her. <laughs> that I didn't do it. <laughs> Melanie, trust me. It's always the words of an innocent man. 
Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I walked, you walked right in the front of security on your way to Selena's office after the shots were fired. I see Melanie's all over this. But the East Point police went look beyond the easy conviction. The footage puts you at the scene and they have to turn it. Oh my god. Can I just end the call? Fuck this. <laughs> you can. <laughs> Fuck this. I'm, I'm not, not sure taking shit from... <laughs> hey, screw it. I'm not listening to that shit. Right. I've been caught on camera. <laughs> the footage of... <laughs> Don't listen. I, want... I have no time for it, Tom. She was going to help right? you. She was getting a. a... She was talking like around to why she's going to help you. No, I didn't like her attitudes. I didn't. I don't think that's uh, the way I want to play this. I mean, this, this is mind. something I loved in, um, you know, Mass Effect in any uh -huh. uh, conference call with the council. You always have the option to just hang up at really uh, important yeah. moments. And I wanted to make sure <laughs> that was fantastic. That's in gunpoint from start to finish. In any conversation ever, you can always just hang up. I see. I see. Right. Well, I had no time for a slam out of there. Um, she wants to pay me $30 to get in there and wipe some data. I've got no other choice. Oh wait, I've got an upgrade. Hold on. What's this? I can upgrade my jump strength on my charge time. Hmm. Any recommendations here, Tom? What do you think? Should I upgrade nothing? Well, I've, you know, tweaked and balanced these so that they're pretty mm. much equal in my, in my mind. So right, some people okay. have their own preference, but for me, they're like early on, I just alternate. I'm going to go for the jump speed more quickly because I remember playing Mario and it was such a pain in the ass pressing down and waiting for him to do it for so long. <laughs> right. Okay. On the top floor of this building, there's a bank of servers with a computer nearby. If you can get to that, you can wipe the evidence that you were at our offices when Selena was killed. Hmm. Got it. That's all I need. You're very to the point. You're, you're not exploring all the dialogue trees. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would, but you see, Tom, I'm going to let our viewers explore the dialogue tree when they go out and buy the game. Yeah, that's good, actually. Yeah. Spoil this as well. I'm going to pretend that I meant to do that. It's also, I, I did consciously, I did um, intentionally support that. You know, I wanted to make sure if someone just wants to get to the point and get on with the mission, then yeah. you always have the option to well, do that's, that. Yeah, that's one of the things I read, because um, a lot of people don't buy into this kind of game. They're they're kind of like, oh, I just want to play a game of action. I have no time for lore and story. So you, they can just skip fucking everything and just get right yeah. into it, which is very interesting that you would include that. It's very cool. And if you saw that, there's like a button called Case Notes on that screen. Um, and that's, yeah. if you hover over that, it gives you like a summary of the case so far. So if you do skip a bunch of stuff, and then later on you think, actually, shit, I don't really know what I'm doing. You should have hover that. over that yeah. and find out. <laughs> right, hold on. Hold down the left mouse button to aim a jump. It takes a minute to charge up the full strength. You can always adjust the strength of the jump by moving the mouse. Right, okay. Left. Oh, shit, I'm jumping. Oh, <laughs> shit. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. This is your object. A secure terminal with sensitive information. Right. Right, okay, hold on a second here now. Oh shit. Alright, I can get through this door. Fantastic. Well, I'm kicking ass here, Tom, honestly. <laughs> You're doing well on this mission, you can't fail. So this game... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try and distract everyone from my gameplay now, because it's probably going to go down the hill severely. <laughs> oh, I can flip the switches. Look at this. Um, so this game comes out on Monday, right? Yes, at um, about 6pm UK time. 6 p.m. The price is what six quid? Nine. Six oh yeah, sorry. Um, you can pre-order it for six twenty-nine something. Yeah, like that. that's it on Steam, and then it's nine dollars on the Humble Bundle store. Oh right, so it's on the Humble Bundle store as well. Well, there you go. Hold on. I'm... Yeah, sorry. It's not. It's not part of the current Humble Bundle, but it's you know they sell games individually as well, and so it's sold by them too. Ah. Uh, well, I think you should be. What does the, does it come with a Steam key from the Humble Bundle thing? Yes, it does. Oh, fantastic! Well, there you go, folks. You had it here from the man himself. Subject privacy. I'm actually. Uh, what? On the launch day, though, I am going to ask people to buy it from Steam because I would like to see it get in the chart somewhere in Steam. I think. Um, yeah. Uh, it probably will. Once... I mean, from what I've heard, everyone's talking about it, right? It's probably going to be in like the top, I would say, at least top ten. Well, hopefully. I mean, I think pre-orders are maybe uh, more people pre-order via the humble store because it's. Um, uh, the developers sure. get more of the money that way, and I think some of the sort of mm -hmm. people have been looking forward to it for ages pre-ordered there. And now, on launch day, I think there'll be more kind of impulse buyers, so I'm hoping to kind of get everyone to buy on Steam, and sure. then maybe we can get in the charts, and that will increase our visibility, and hopefully be better for us long run. Well, I'm, go I'm go this video is usually, I think we're going to put this out in the Monday, so... Yeah, People will be watching this, it's probably out as you're watching this video. Yeah. And if you want to buy it, buy it on Steam. Yeah, go and buy it on Steam, you motherfuckers. Right, hold on, I'm going to smash the response. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to go that far. <laughs> You don't have I'm, to. I'm quite rude. You see, what, what, no, you, no, they do. You see, I like to treat treat mean, keep them keen, Tom. That's how we. That's how we operate <laughs> on the Nalzy Rocks YouTube channel. It's a little I bit see. different to most YouTube channennels. It's kind of um, Florence <laughs> Nightingale syndrome everyone suffers from. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, uh, shit goes down, man. You don't want to know about it. Um, right. Finished the contract. I've hacked the information. I got 
a special um, laptop as well, which I copied, and I got $30. Yeah. You're going to get a lot of A-plus ratings on this, because um, these first five missions, there's no optional objectives. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Right, she says, good jobs, good jobs, thanks. Walk, wait, walking through op already open doors is my specialty. That's what I'm going for. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Our feeds are backed up at four more facilities. I know there's a slightly alert guarded, but nothing too taxing. I'll give you the address in order of security. Frankly, I've no idea how good you are. Um, how about you fuck off? There we go. End call. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you're easily I, offended, aren't you? Yeah, I am very easily offended. The, the 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 what I'm going for is that she gets one line out of me. That's it. <laughs> they call me one the one line rookie, right? You talk to me <laughs> once, and that's it. It's over. So you better get everything you want to say out immediately because I'm gone. I'm out of there. Right. The second backup. That's definitely that's like yeah. an action hero archetype, isn't it? Exactly. You know, you should pick up the phone. Where's the bomb? It's in the cellar, right, bye, you know, gone. I don't even say bye, phone straight down. Nobody says goodbye in movies. <laughs> you're not going to ask which cellar, you're just going to go. All the cellars. I'm going to be down there. The bomb explodes. Where were you? I was in the cellar. Yeah, but you're in the wrong town. Well, they didn't say that. In the That's not my fault. Right, the Westfield facilities, better security. My guy can open the door for you. Blah, blah, blah. Come on, Melanie, I've got it. No time for this shit. Oh, she's disconnected. Right, let's go. Guards will shoot on sight. Now, I've seen these guards on the trailer. They are pretty damn ruthless. They just oh, put their arm up and you're dead. So Yeah, they're not kidding. They are pretty serious. The cursor turns red when the guards can see. Yeah, it was a, okay. it was a rule for the game that basically... Mm -hmm. okay, I'm gonna sneak in so everyone shot. always dies in one shot. Including including, including me. Including there's no bosses either. Oh, God. Can I cancel this jump? Right, okay. Hold on. Jump yep. this fella. Can jump this fella. Look. Oh shit! A oh, click to punch. So there is bang. like, bang, <laughs> bang. <laughs> I'm just very slowly punching him. It's a very intense fight. You like that? <laughs> you want some more? Oh, he's he's unconscious now, so he's, you're not going to get he? a lot of fight out of him. And now he's dead. Is he dead and now? He's bleeding slowly into the floor, and you're still punching. All right, well I'll get off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't realize I would kill him so easily. He's got a. Hold on. <laughs> Turn the light switches off. I actually, Wait, I asked on Twitter how many punches it should take to kill somebody. Yeah, what was the response you got from that? What's what's the uh, what's the average? Would you say? Um, almost everyone just said it depends, which was <gasps> not very helpful. But um, I settled on ten. I reckon if oh you punch someone's head against the floor ten times. Oh god, the guards come after me. Oh, he's turned away. Go down, go down, go down. Fucking jump him. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I would, I would wait there for a sec. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a reversal! Bang, 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 bang! <laughs> Alright, well, he did not see that one coming. Get that light switch off. There's a computer here, look. Oh, I've hacked the computer. I'm going to read that later. Jesus. Alright, hold on. And I'm hacking the PC. Done! And I need to get out. Now, does this game kind of support, like, non-lethal? playthroughs like can you can can i yeah. do everything with, or does oh man ready will love that you know he loves non-lethal stuff you can you can complete the whole game without killing anybody and you can almost complete the game without hurting anybody oh my god it's got a very final guy yep you got because i looked at it on there, steam and um... I, I saw there was no achievements i was like oh that's a shame this would be a great game for achievements oh there are there, yeah there's 45 oh, okay. achievements um the oh, ghost okay. one is for leaving no living witnesses so even though you got saw loads of times you killed both the people who I saw you <laughs> yeah well, they, they started it, to be honest. I mean, why did they have their eyes open at that time? <laughs> what can I say? Oh, God, the shop. Right. I saw a bunch of these stuff. A bunch of these stuffs, apologies, um, on the trailer. So the cross link, what does that do? It lets me reconnect electronic devices. Hmm. Yeah, that's the main gadget you use for pretty much all the missions from now on. Is it? Um, and right, it okay. lets you rewire anything. There, I know, I know this one muffles the glass, which is incredibly useful because you get to just smash through. Guards have no idea you're coming. Uh, let's upgrade something. Yeah. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Let's upgrade this again. Just upgrade all our jump times. We've no time for big jumps. Rick doesn't want to talk to me this time. She just wants me to get to the Ellis facility. And, and that's it. Right, fine. That's fine. Oh, wait, hold on. Here we go. I can't open the server room door. There are no guards working tonight. You'll have to do it yourself. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> let's do it. Minimal information loyalty. 
that is, I've, I've not, <laughs> I want to learn by myself, you know? I want to go into this. I don't want Rook. Who's Rook? <laughs> you see, Rook could be working for the other guy. You know, I need to think ahead. <laughs> I, I'm real. Who is the other guy? I don't, I don't know yet, but there could be another guy. <laughs> um, so tell me, hold on. Let me, let me think, let me think of the most generic PC gaming question I could ask you. What were your, what, what were your main, um, inspirations for this game, Tom? Uh, Deus Ex mainly. So, oh, Deus Ex is um, so good. Jesus, good choice. Yeah, exactly. And I've always loved it, and I've, because uh, I'm a games journalist, uh, often have to write about my favourite games and have to say why they're good. So, I've, on about six different times, I've had to yeah. explain why Deus yeah, Ex is good. Yeah, because you work for PC Gamer. Yeah. Um, and so when I came to make a game, I was trying to think of like, uh, I really wanted to build on the thing I love most about Deus Ex, which is subverting mm -hmm. your environment. Um, so turning yes. things that are supposed to catch you out into things that work in your favour. Mm -hmm. And uh, so in DSX you can hack stuff and you can turn turrets to your side and you can open doors and stuff, but it's all quite Which generic. You just sort of click now. a button and say, "Yes, I want to hack that." Hold on. Um, oh. So the crosslink is. Which I have just done. Oh, no, you've done what everyone does. What? Wait. Oh, I've done it from the wrong way, haven't I? So I need to do it <laughs> yes, and switch to the. You realised it much quicker than most people do. <laughs> Of course I do. Uh, you've connected them Silly both me. ways now, so it'll probably oh, wait, around a bit. Oh wait, shit! Hold on, let's <laughs> connect that to the to the light as well. Right now we've, we've sorted it. You don't have to connect it to anything, but... Um... Ah, but the light's off now as well. So I've, I've, I've sorted fine. everything. <laughs> right, done. So what you did there initially was you connected them both ways, so the light switch activated the door, then yeah. the door activated the light switch, then the light switch activated the door. Yeah. And uh, that happens very, very rapidly, and then it just kind of burns right, can out. I create so a loop? It's happening too fast. Yep, you can try that. Look at this. It'll be strobe oh, effect. Oh man. Fantastic! Look at that. I mean, you can obviously tell by the um, <laughs> the progress lines about which direction it's going. So it's not exactly something you wouldn't work out. But that's very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Right. So we've done that. I think. Do we need to bust out? I had to add that feature where it. I had to add that feature where it burns out because initially it would just go on forever, and mm -hmm. uh, some yeah. people just got seriously <laughs> panicked by that. <laughs> that's what like I was hoping. Opening and slamming, I was hoping like, that would happen. Second. I was going to be like, uh, Tom, I've just <laughs> broken your game. Um, it's like a machine been? gun going off or something. Yeah, okay. Right, let's continue. What have we got? The next terminal's on Loxley Close. Oh, they don't like me around Loxley Close. By the way, be careful with main outlets. They'll emit a shock if you cross-link something to them. Fine. Okay. Oh, we're straight in. I tell you what, it's a very film noir -y game, from what I understand from the description. I mean, are you into film noir yourself? Have you watched a lot of film noir movies? Are you a big film noir fan? Yeah, um, it's mostly kind of the aesthetic that I like, or at least that's what I wanted to capture in, in Gunpoint. I wanted it mm -hmm. to have that kind of moody nighttime feel, and um, you kind of, you're not technically a PI, but you look like a PI in a trench coat and hat, and you take cases from clients, and there's a sort of murder mystery. Don't want to do um, <laughs> Sorry. So it's, it's probably not like super authentic to the real noir classics, but it's more of a kind of a motif than a direct, um, you Can know, I just tribute. walk up to this guy? If he... <laughs> You're pushing it. This guy's an idiot. What you can, are we paying you, this guy for? If you for? keep walking, you will, he will feel you and turn around. Okay, I'm not. I don't want that. <laughs> uh, let's punch him. There we go. They are. You're always you silent said. when you're walking, so even if you're like sprinting as fast as you can, no one will actually hear you. You're just sort yeah. of automatically stealthy. Oh, this is a hand scan. I was wondering what this was. Right. Okay. So, if we do. Yeah. So only the guards can use those. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. What about if we do? Um put that uh, there. Right, we've, we've created something glorious here. <laughs> oh. I can't wait for this guy to go back. Hey, that's good. Oh, no. He has no idea what he's doing! Oh, he's confused himself! <laughs> oh, I picked the wrong time here! No! He thinks you're turning off. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Oh, shit, he actually, he actually did come downstairs! That's what I wanted. Damn! Right, okay. Uh, yeah. we'll, oh, look, he can load different saves. Right, hold on. Oh, it saved too. Yeah, so it saves very, very often. It saves like every five seconds. Oh, thank God, because this kind of game. So he's he's confused because he thinks you're turning the light off, like yeah, because he he sees the lights going on, so he knows the light switch is working. <laughs> and if the light switch works, he won't give up. He'll carry on pressing oh, it. Oh, what? Right, we need to get him. Right, not now. <laughs> but you've rigged it so no. Without him realizing, he's turning it off. Bang! <laughs> Good night, bro. Right. It's like fighting in a thunderstorm or something with the occasional yeah. slices of lightning. <laughs> he's not the smartest guy, but to be honest, I mean, he's doing this job. He's just walking back and forth, turning lights on. We don't expect much out of him. 
And um, it's intentional that the AI is quite easy to trick. You know, they don't. They're not meant to be super realistic. They're sure. just meant to be very predictable. So you know what they're gonna, how they're going to react in a certain situation. Woo! Well, I'm loving it. I'm loving it, Tom. Jesus. All right, so Tom's going to stick around. We're going to be playing for the next three hours. Tom, I think you agreed to. You said you were going to play <laughs> three hours. Uh, uh, I am releasing a game in two days. That's true. How's it been going? I heard it's been a bit frantic with you, huh? How's it been rocking? Yeah, it's, it, this week's been pretty hectic because there's loads of stuff to coordinate, and I'm also mm -hmm. still fixing bugs as they come up. Is this your first I game? I only released done? the demo on Monday. Yeah. It's incredibly impressive for a first game. Jesus Christ. Thank you. You're welcome, Tom. You're welcome. Yeah, it's taken me... I've only been working on my spare time, but it's taken me three years, partly because of that. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, everyone. Tom gave me a free copy of the game, and he said, Nalzi, I'll give you a free copy as long as you say that this game is very impressive for a first game. So that is me. <laughs> I've now, <laughs> I've, he has now uh, allowed me to continue the game. I, I, I'm giving it back afterwards, though, because he gave me it on a CD. That's an open policy, by the way, guys. If anyone yeah. wants to just you know, compliment it publicly, then yeah, free copy yeah. of the law. <laughs> yeah, buy the game and then ask not for a really. refund after you... No, not really, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, don't do that. Because they will. They'll go out there and be like, oh yeah, Tom Francis said I could just get a free copy. Uh, no, they'll say, oh yeah, Penta. Penta said I could get a free copy. You know, Penta? <laughs> I said I could get a free copy of the game. Um, no. <laughs> sorry. My worst nightmare. Last facility with a copy. Th All right, so is this the end of the, like, the tutorial stuff, right? Got it. Um, this is the last mission before you, it's. This is the last mission before it gets demo, real. So. Okay. Cool. Your version will carry right. on, but the demo ends after this one. I see. Right. Okay. So what are we doing here? Right. There's three terminals. There's one here. There's one here. There's one here. We've got four guards. This guard's man in the windows. I want to. I want to. I want to go mass confusion mode on these guards. So um, we need to get to light switch first. And I want to get up there then to get to that light switch. Ah. Oh. Oh my god, you can wall hang over the... D that is such a good mechanic. I cannot <laughs> imagine the amount of times... Mark of the Ninja was a big one for this. Like, you could wall hang, but going through doors was the worst. Look at how smooth that is. Holy shit. Like, genuinely mind-blown <laughs> at the moment. This is amazing. Excellent. Right, okay. Sorry. That's such a small thing, but as a gamer, that is such a relevant thing. Um, okay. Yeah, monkey climbing on ceilings is fantastic. I love it. Right, we're just going to connect everything to everything. These guards <laughs> are going to have no goddamn idea what's going on. Right, we need that to go up there, that to there. Uh, we need to just connect this uh, here. This needs to go here. All right, Something this is perfect. Happen. Something is going to happen. Wait. Yeah, this is good. Right, let's go. Right, let's just watch the glory. Turn the lights off. Open the doors, ah. and the light switch opened and shut the door. <laughs> Wait, did, didn't do end up here? Oh right, hold on. I need to. I need to do this. Right, hold on. This. There. Need, right. Okay. So now we're in action. That'll, that will only activate when the elevator it's arrives scarred. on that floor. So. <laughs> it's gone. Right now, he's not going right, to press that. All right. So I need to get down here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn off. He's confused switch. though. <laughs> All right. Now oh, yeah. this guy's. That'll do it. Oh. 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 No shit! I went, down. <laughs> I went up instead of down. But, God damn! And also, you like that guy was facing the other way, but then the elevator arrived and he heard it, so he Bang. turned around. And there also, the go. lights went out, so that confused him. Right, that guy's dead. Oh, I missed the elevator. Right, the elevator's on auto. <laughs> what have you done to down, this level? Which is perfect. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Right, so the elevator's on <laughs> auto mode right now. Oh shit! They've turned off the lights. They're onto me. Right, I need to go back up. I need to get my auto elevator back back running. Right, let's go. Let's go catch the elevator now. Where's my elevator? <laughs> call. Oh, right, call it down here. You've got these buttons right, like go. calling each other, so go. when it arrives at one floor... No! It Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> right, hold on. We need to do some rewiring here. Hold on, right. This is crazy. If, right, okay. If you want to just uh, disconnect let's... something, you can just click on it once. Oh, perfect. Fantastic. Right, okay. Let's just disconnect all this. Right, we need a light switches to be still going on. Right, we want that on there. Can I admit? Oh, I can't multi-click. That's fine. So I can I can do that. So I can multi-click yeah. them. Right. So we can disconnect that. That should be enough. Right. So switch them. Oh. Oh shit. That was a bit close. <laughs> what are you talking about? Number one. Right. Oof. Oh, that was light interesting. He you. tried to open that door, but it just turned the lights on. Ha. Sucks to be him. Well. <laughs> You should try and knock one of these guys out of the window. Oh, should I? Right, okay. I'll try and get this guy out the window. Hold on. Might need to open that door first. Right, so I want to turn that light switch on 
and I want to close that door with it. No, wait, that door with it that way. Let's just disconnect that, so that way. Right, let's get rid of all these so I can actually see what the hell's going on here. <laughs> right, so that, when he turns that on, I want the elevator to get called so he's super confused. But then I also want that to turn this on. Right, oh, I think we might have <laughs> this now. Even I don't understand Trust me here. that. Trust me, this is... Watch now. He's coming through. Oh, it's going to call the elevator. He has no <laughs> idea what's going on. He He's is like, confused, definitely. Is anyone in the elevator? <laughs> Shit. Okay, hold on. Now I'm going to do this. Hold on. Right, this to this. I'm going to do it this time. This is this is nice and easy. Yeah, this is good. Wait for him to go next to that window. I think that's no, going to link to the door. Damn it. So just right, you could link the switch directly it's to the it's door. It's going to work now. The hand scanner's not linked to anything yet. But that one. There. Well, neither of them are linked to the door, though. What? Okay, so the door on. is like, yeah, it's up there. Ah, right, 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 right. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Right, this guy's going out. This guy's going to go sky high. <laughs> oh, hit no! The oh, God. Oh, it's no! bad. No! Oh, what? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's try this again. Luckily, you can Okay, let's try this again. Here. Yeah, that's fantastic. Oh, oh what? Come I on! I think it wasn't hard enough. Oh no! <laughs> you need quite okay, a lot of strength. Okay, to let's get try this window. again. Do I? Okay, let's try this again. Right, I'm going to strength them. Yes. Oh! Oh my oh, god! Oh, oh god! The other guy saw me. <laughs> Bang! Excellent. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. We'll get this. We we'll hack this one. That was nice. We just done. need to get back up. Thanks, thanks very much. I appreciate that. Uh, press that. Call the elevator. That's the wrong around. Where's my elevator? What the hell? Oh, for fuck's sake! Gonna have to get used to that. Bang! Here we go. And I've got the run of the place. Gonna go up. Casually turn on this computer. Hack it. Bob's your uncle. And I'm out of there. Oh shit! I'm out of there. <sighs> we did it, Tom. It took us a bit, but we did it. Yep. Good job. <laughs> I have to say, I've never seen anyone do that level quite that way. <laughs> Tom, I'm going to take that as an intense compliment. I'm going to take that as an intense compliment. <laughs> yep, it is. Well, thanks everyone for watching. Um, Tom's game, Gunpoint, uh, is out on Monday on Steam, 6 o'clock. You're probably watching this video around 6 o'clock anyway. So go and check it out. It's very cheap and I think Strippin's playing it, yep. maybe on his channel. I'm probably going to keep playing it on my channel because it's fun as heck. And the, the good thing about this is that if you're a Let's Player, because I know a lot of Let's Players watch me, Tom, and they um, they want to do videos on their own, this is very good because every playthrough is different. So yeah. it's kind of so varied. Definitely. It's very interesting to watch. Well, say goodbye to everyone, Tom. Awesome. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. And, you know, buy it immediately without even thinking about it, really. <laughs> now, Tom, I'm going to need you to say that as in a song. Like, we have a kind of rule that you have to, have to kind of sing the outro. <laughs> Buy it immediately. Mm. Oh, fantastic. Well done. Bye, everyone. Go buy the game. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. This is my outro song so that the vid doesn't end too hoo suddenly. Be sure to click like and fave and drop a comment if you think that you want to. Oh, oh, and there's tons of other stuff for you to click in the in the background for you. So go out, go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching the vid, you hooty foo people. That is all for now. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you all later. Oh God! Bye. Seriously, why are you still watching this? Go and subscribe and drop a comment below. God damn you, stop watching video. Click fave, drop a comment. I think you want to, but if you don't, well, that's your opinion, I guess. Um, beautiful graphics so far. I've been thrown out of a fucking window <laughs> with a goddamn beautiful picture of a horse here. Right, I need to answer my phone, Tom. Excuse oh, me. Oh, my artist will love you for saying that. It's it's absolutely beautiful, Tom. Look at that picture. It's glorious. Got a lot of work into that horse. Uh, who's your artist? Ryan? Is it Ryan or is it? No, sorry. This is John Roberts. John Roberts, the other fella's, what's the other fella's name? Because I saw you, you have... So um... John Roberts did the um, 
the character and environment arts, John Roberts, and then the uh -huh. backgrounds are done by Fabian Van Dommelen. Right. And the music you hear is um, the mid-mission music is by Ryan Ike. Ah, that's the music for Ryan. Because I know that there's a special mode that you can activate where you can go around and kind of talk to the sprites, kind of like in Portal, where you can go around and learn all about the game from the person who made the point of view, sort of thing, right? Yeah, so we become like little NPCs in the levels, and you can walk up and talk to us, and you can even shoot us I if you see. like. <laughs> Which? Oh, really? Oh, fantastic! I work at a gun company across the road. Someone just got thrown out of your apartment. That was me. Yeah, that was me. Shit, man. He was about to call me about something else, but now I'm more interested in this. This fucking guy. All right, we've got a guy here, Selena Delgado. His boss says, come sign a freelance spy. That is actually... It's a woman. <laughs> Look, Tom, I don't see gender. <laughs> um... I just thought you might appreciate that director's <laughs> insight. You know, that's, that's the kind of you oh. know, behind the scenes oh, stuff. Oh, right. Oh, right. So I'm, I'm... Oh, shit. Right, I'm using WASD here. Oh, my God. Oh my god, what has happened to that babe? Can I get up there? Get up there quick, why did I waste time talking about controls? Elevator. You could have saved her, man. Oh my god. No, you couldn't. Oh, could I not? <laughs> okay, well I feel less bad about that then. It's good um, if you think you can though. Right, hold on. Oh shit! Okay, <laughs> well... It's always good to land in someone's corpse just after they've been shot. <laughs> Yeah, I thought she'd appreciate that. That was my way of saying, I'm sorry for your loss. Um, <laughs> congratulations on purchasing, what? Your new Bullfrog brand hyper trousers. Oh my god, Bullfrog. That was, that was a goddamn company that made uh, Theme Hospital. Holy shit. These, uh, these ref. Hi everyone on the Nazi Rocks channel. It's Nazi here, and we're joined by a fella called Tom Francis. His other name is Pentadact. He doesn't like being called that, he's told me. It's only Tom. Hi, hi Tom, how is it going? <laughs> It's just if someone says it in voice, like to your face, it's a bit weird. Yeah. But otherwise, it's fine. Hello. We could shorten it to Penta. <laughs> no, Penta. That, that's worse. What do you think? Penta. All right, Penta. Right, look, Mr. Francis, we're playing a game called Gunpoint that this fella here has made, and he's so generously, I begged him. I was begging him through emails, like, Tom, please, please, God, I need this. I need <laughs> this. Um, so, this game, Gunpoint, that he made. Um, how would you describe this game before we start? Because I know there's an opening little thing here that I don't want to miss. So how would you describe it before we hit resume? Give me your tagline. It's a side-scrolling um, stealth game where you're breaking into buildings and stealing sensitive data. Right. And the main way you do it is by rewiring how the buildings work. So you can switch to a mode where you can see how all the electronics are wired up. And then you connect anything to anything. Okay. Well, my whistle has been wet, Tom. I'm <laughs> going to press resume. Um, and it's up to you whether you want to actually give them the evidence or pretend you couldn't find it. Ah, uh, right. This, right, okay. Tons of layers on this then. Right, well, I'm going to... My character, I think, I'm going to play very... I'm very paranoid. I'm going to say that I've, I've got some sort of anxiety disorder. And I'm just going to open with, I didn't kill her. I didn't kill her. <laughs> that, I didn't do it. <laughs> Melanie, trust me. It's always the words of an innocent man. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I walked, you walked right in the front of security on your way to Selena's office after the shots were fired. I see Melanie's all over this. But these point police went look beyond the easy conviction. The footage puts you at the scene and they have to turn it. Oh my god. Can I just end the call? Fuck this. <laughs> you can. Fuck this. I'm, I'm not, not sure taking shit done from... That before. <laughs> hey, screw it. I'm not listening to that shit. Right. I've been caught on camera. <laughs> the <was> footage <laughs> Listen, I have no time for it, Tom. She was going to help right? you. She was getting a, a, she was talking I didn't away like around to why she's going to help you. No, I didn't like her attitudes. I, didn't, I don't think that's uh, the way I want to play I this. I mean, this man. is something I loved in um, you know, Mass Effect in any uh -huh. uh, conference call with the council. You always have the option to just hang up at really uh, important yeah. moments. Uh, references, Tom. This is the kind of um, top game that I'm playing here. <laughs> Maximum strength jump, me shut our glasses, scenes and windows, and chill. What? Outdoor use only. Right. Oh, my God. So these are the trousers. So that was a oh right, oh right, that was the flashback. Oh Tom. Yep. Fucking hell, it's like memento I'm playing here. I don't know if you noticed, but it said thirty seconds ago, um, before that, and that's. Uh, I, I did see it that. It times how long you took to complete that first level, and then does that amount of oh. seconds ago. Holy snappers! Right. So this is um one of the coolest parts of the game, from what I understand, is that you can not like disclose anything. You kind of you control what you tell the other people, right? So, yeah, it's it's pretty basic like, early it's kind on. It's kind of like Mass Effect, you kind of chat. So with sort of this um, with this client, you um, it's really more about right. what kind of attitude you want to have towards her and kind of how glib sure. you want to be and how seriously you want to take it. 
and then later on okay. it gets a bit more serious when um, like someone's investigating the crime that you just saw and they suspect mm -hmm. you're guilty of it and they keep sending I you see. to retrieve evidence 